Okay, so uh, good to be back. In this video, we're going to draw our pieces. So what is common about these shapes? They comprise of four boxes or four squares. You can see this is piece O, this is piece I, piece S, etc., etc. as you guys can see. Uh, so um, I'm going to divide this tutorial into two our parts so that you know you guys can understand what is going on so first up this is where we left off and so let me show you where we left off if i run this you can see we created our grid over here let's say we want to draw a square in one of these boxes of our grid we have to use the same concepts that we've learned in the past videos and so i'm going to show you that um so over here we need to create a rect object i'm gonna call this square this is just a random name you could name it anything and so i want to say pi game dot rect and then in here we have to pass in the coordinates and then the width and the height right the coordinate which is the top left corner this is what we are dealing with so let's say um let's say over here we want to draw our square two boxes from the left and two boxes from the top and so this is going to be the square that we're going to draw the position that we are starting to draw is going to be the top left corner so let me show you this so we said uh, two boxes from the top and so um since we already know uh, that this square is about 35 is 35 and 35 right that's the width and the height so we want to multiply this by 35 so this is what we assigned over here so we're going to say 2 multiplied by square we know is 35 and then the y also is going to be 2 multiplied by square because we said uh, two boxes from the top and two boxes from the left and then the size is going to be the size of the square uh, the width and the height right so this is what we are passing on here after creating this rect object we now want to apply this by drawing it on the surface so to draw we can call pi game dot draw dot rect we're drawing a rectangle so the surface is game screen the color is going to be um, i want it to be 255,255,255 which is a white color and the object that we want to draw we want to draw it on these coordinates this is creating the coordinates of the object that we want to draw and here this is the drawing of that object and so with these coordinates and the width and the height you know uh, we're going to pass in square here which is this thing that we created up here so if i'm to save this and run this uh let me first close this and run this um you will see a square exactly where we mentioned you know two boxes from the top and two boxes from the left if we had given it a different uh, width and height we could uh instead of giving it a height of 35 uh, square square here we could say we want it to overlap to say 70 and then by 35 right which means the width is going to be two times the height so if i save this and, and run this you will see now the width is two times the height right the most important thing is the starting point which is the top left corner so we are using some kind of a coordinate system to draw this box over here uh, we could also use the same concept to draw these pieces over here we're going to use a coordinate system and so in this first video i'm just going to explain how the coordinate system is going to work i'm going to bring up my paint here this is what I'm going to use, All right? So in paint, I want to choose this straight line and a thicker line of three pixels. And I'm going to press my shift and hold and drag. It's going to draw a straight line. Um, yeah, so, and then another line about here going from left to the right. And so this is the coordinate system that we are used to, right? So in the middle here, it's going to be the origin. It's going to be 0 0.00. 0. So let me see here. It's going to be our y-axis right um, and here on this side is going to be the x-axis um since we are using our grid you know because uh, we are just uh, imitating our grid right here i want to show you something uh, that is important is critically important and so if i run this you see this grid all right so i want you to notice something over here 
with this game grid, the y-axis is increasing as we move down. So we are saying the number of pixels are increasing as we move down on the y-axis, right? On the x-axis, the number of pixels are increasing as we move to the right. So with our normal coordinate system, usually it's the opposite for the y-axis. For the y-axis is usually here is going to be negative and up here is going to be positive. But for our game, here up here is going to be negative and down here is going to be positive because it's increasing as we move down. That's the slight difference compared to the coordinate system that you're used to. All right, so here what I'm going to do is I'm also going to draw a line. Let me see. Uh, let me use a pencil here. So I'm going to uh, draw these lines. Let me see. One. Another one here, I think. Two. Yeah, probably there. And then another one here. One. And two. I think that's okay. And then one. Uh, let me undo that. One. And then two here. Okay, down here we're also going to draw two lines. Let me see. One and uh, let me undo that and two okay so we created our coordinate system this is what we're going to work with All right so like i said if you look at these shapes or these pieces they are made of four boxes but they are in different orientation obviously these are well distributed these are placed on top of each other and you can see what's happening here so four boxes but you know in different orientation so we're going to use that so i'm going to mark this uh this is going to be one this is going to be two uh like i said the y-axis is increasing as we go downwards you know contrary to uh the normal cartesian plane that we are used to so this is going to be negative one and this is going to be negative two this is going to be one this is going to be two uh, the normal x-axis this is going to be negative one uh let me see negative one and this is going to be negative two All right so for us to draw this we have to use lists in python uh that is going to store the coordinates to these uh, four boxes for each shape. Okay, so for this shape, we need um, uh, a list to store the four coordinates uh, for these four boxes and similar to this one, similar to that one and stuff like that. And so what we're going to have, we're going to have lists of lists. Okay, so we're going to have two dimensional lists, 2D two dimensional lists. So how do you create two dimensional lists? You create a list by using square brackets like this. And then inside here, we're going to create, you know, other lists. So we're going to have seven lists in here for the seven pieces, because that's what we're going to be dealing with. So we're going to draw seven pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so in each list, we're going to have four points, four coordinates for each uh, square, because uh, this uh, piece is made up of four squares. So for each square, we're going to have a coordinate um, so that's what we're going to do. So let's say we want to draw uh, the first one, the all, this one. Okay, so this is evenly distributed. So I'm going to use different colors so that you guys can understand what's going on. Um, so let me use a thicker pen here. Let's say this part is one part and then this part is another part. And then this part is another part. Uh, and then this part is another part. The reason why I'm using different colors is simply because we're going to have four different coordinates, okay, for each square, even though this square is going to make up one big piece, which is our O, which is this piece here, the first one here. Okay, so what we need to, to consider first, to create our first list here, this is our first list. I'm going to put it here, which is this one. Okay, this is going to be our first list. So, uh, like I said, we're going to have seven here. So this ellipses, it simply means, you know, there, there's more information. All right, so in here, we're going to create two pools of coordinates. The four coordinates. Three and then four coordinates for these four squares. Right, so we need to pass in in the first two pool the center of rotation so the middle here is going to be our center of our rotation so what square is this 
obviously it's going to be this green square uh, because this is the top left corner so you consider the top left corner uh, of each square because this is going to determine where each square is going to begin okay so each square begins from the top left and so this middle is the top left corner of this green square so that's what we're going to pass into the first so we're going to say zero comma zero here and then we can pass in the rest so this yellow here is going to be zero for x and minus one for y so zero comma minus one um, obviously the order the way we write these coordinates we, we start with the x and then the y coordinate like that and then this red one um the top left corner is this one so this is going to be minus one comma minus one okay so this is going to be in here okay um and then the blue one the blue one the top left corner is going to be this one and this is going to be minus one for the x-axis and then zero for the y-axis so this is what we need so we need zero comma zero and then the next one is zero comma minus one and then the next one is minus one comma minus one and then the last one is going to be minus one comma zero right so having this information we have our first shape so this is our first shape and then we can move on to the next shape and then to the next shape and to the next shape so the way you can create these other shapes for instance let's say you want to create um this t over here we could just uh, look at this shape that we have right now so how can we create a t over here we could just take this green one and place it here and then we have our t isn't it this one and place it here so we could we could ju just do that so that's what i'm going to do let me uh, erase this i want to create the t so i could just remove this and now the green is going to appear in here uh, here is going to be the green and now this becomes a t and so now the only coordinate the center of rotation has changed now i want this to be the center of rotation um up here or i can consider this one to be the center of rotation uh, it's all up to me um but i think this one would make a lot of sense turn it like this turn it like that i think this one would would make a whole lot of sense to be the center of our rotation and so i can create the second list this one and in here i can put in coordinates and obviously we have four right four boxes that simply means four coordinates that we need to pass in there all these are will be separated by commas here and so we need to determine the top left for this one the top left for this one and this one and this one we no longer have um this is what we removed over here so that is no longer going to be um part of this okay so we remove that and yeah so now we have it we can do that and so we can keep on doing the same thing until we finish all these squares over here um yeah so basically that's what you have to do and so um that's how you're going to create all these shapes by just playing around with these boxes in the first tuple here you have to pass in your center of rotation because these shapes are going to be rotating when you're playing your game and so we need that center of rotation um in the first tuple and so in our next video we're going to implement this in our code so that you guys can see how we're going to use this all right so i want to thank you for your time i hope to see you in our next video for now i'm out uh, bye bye